Hi, this is David Frain. I'm at the National Hardware Show at the California Air Tools booth with Larry, who's going to show us a few of their compressors. Larry, what do you got here? Hi, Dave. Thanks a lot for the time. In front of me today is the California Air Tools 4620 AC. This is a powerful two horsepower air compressor with a 4.6 gallon aluminum air tank. Okay, so that's to, that's to prevent rust and make it a little lighter. Is that what that's exactly about? right? We want to do is make it lighter for the guys when they're out in the field, and we're reducing the rust inside so the tank will last longer. Uh huh. And like, who would the typical user of this this size and type of tank be? This is very popular with roofers, framers, general contractors, flooring guys, anyone using a high volume uh, nail gun that requires a lot of air. So you can use two roofing nailers, two flooring nailers, or two framing nailers. So what's that rated at? This is uh, at, at 90 psi. It's 5.3 cfm. Okay. And you were saying this thing is very quiet. Yeah, Can this we is, turn that on? This runs at 70 decibels, and 70 decibels is a, just like a little bit louder in our conversation. I'm going to okay. turn it on so you can hear it. At first, you're going to be at first at first you're going to be able to hear it bleeding off a little bit of air. Okay. And this is to get the motor up fast, so we're not doing as much amp draw. Okay, so I just heard that stop. Now and it just stop. So now we're running at our normal speed and sound. So it's only 14 amps, and it will fill this tank up in one minute. Okay. That is very quiet. I mean, you could talk over that. Yeah, easily. Cool. And I guess you've got like the nice ball valve bleeder on that. Yeah, at the bottom down here, we have a ball valve that makes it real easy to drain the tank. Mm -hmm. So a lot of extra conveniences. The motor's designed for 3,000 hours before wear, and they're easy to work on yourself. Cool. Now, you said you've got another one a little bit behind you that's some of the same, same, uh, I guess what, pump and uh, motor, but a different tank. Yeah, we're using the same pump and motor, the same two horsepower motor, but we put it on a little larger tank. It's a vertical 10 gallon steel tank. Uh -huh. So you hold more air for like a shop or a garage. And then we put a panel so you can see the gauges and whatnot and adjust the pressure and all that type of stuff. So it's great for shops and garages. Now that's got, you were saying that's got a steel tank on that? It's got a steel tank. It's a large steel tank. It's hard to make aluminum that large. So we use a steel tank. The ball valve is again at the bottom and it's the same ball valve. Now you were telling me something about a particular feature, an auto auto bleed or we auto can, drain. This, this uh, air compressor also comes with an automatic optional feature, is an automatic drain valve where it will drain the tank automatically as you use it. So you don't have to drain your tank. It's just another optional feature. Cool. Now ballpark, what is this uh, first, first uh, unit we are looking for? Go for this is gonna this range is anywhere from 299 to 349 okay and this model here sells for uh, 395 to 410 now th this don't leave the finish guys out you were you had another couple of uh, units over here so this is one of our finishing uh, uh, air compressors. This is a one horsepower model uh -huh. and the benefit of this is it's a lot lighter weight so it's only uh, 35 pounds. Once again it's a two gallon aluminum tank. Uh -huh. uh, the benefit of this is it's good for guys that are going to go in upstairs or need to carry it a long distance. It's easy to carry but you're still getting enough air to use uh, nail gun, staple guns, rat nailers, finishing nailers. Now, I see this says industrial on it. How is that different than the ones that don't have industrial? We have two different models. We have uh, the industrial model, which gives you more life and more air. And then we have our standard model that would be just a little bit less air and a little bit less uh, life. So how much life would you get on this industrial the, model? The industrial one you get 4,000 hours and our standard model you get a 3,000 hours. Well that sounds that's pretty good to begin with. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Well thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a great day.